It made a bam and the rope exploded. This is the Atlantic Ocean. And this is us on our home for Tuna. We have lived and sailed for two years in the map. Now we're ready for new horizon. Follow along as we prepare ourselves and our sailboat for the Atlantic Ocean. Welcome from our first night trip with our Jennifer. It's just a dream. How it stands, how it falls. We are able to fly it from 95 degrees uh, wind to 100. Well, up to 150 if it really yeah. changes. But currently we try to kind of stabilize it around 105, 110. Um, we're going five knots with six knots of wind. So. Feels pretty good. Oh. Hey, love! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, little Carlo! Happy birthday to you! Greta's gardening skills. First, you have to kill a plant in order to grow it. <laughs> oh, look how the good they look after three yeah. weeks of seed. Like three weeks ago, it was a bush like bush like crazy, and yeah, now it's look, like it's all, all healthy. Ooh. All new ones. Nice. How is our petersilie parsley? The parsley is almost dying, and the basilicum is questionable. <laughs> So the whole day there was almost no wind, so we had the motor, but now we decided that we had more than enough and the wind is still not here and it's super flat, there is no current and no wind, so we decided to play into the blue, <laughs> almost we have an hour. Great security man still on board, but the rest of the crew is currently in the water and it's just amazing. Hello mermaid! <laughs> We also took the chance to get rid of all the small animals which somehow managed to get attached to our hull while crossing the ocean. So once the wind will pick up again, we would be the speediest it gets.
Good morning and welcome to day 18 here on the Atlantic Ocean. We are enjoying a proper Gamma Crusade today. We have about 10 to 15 knots and are speeding with 6 to 7 knots direction into the Caribbean. We started our day today with some crabs, which could give you a small hint on which island we choose in the end to make landfall. If everything goes well, we are currently in contact with three different islands in the Caribbean and are trying to understand where we are allowed to make landfall and what makes the most sense for us. Right now we just had our first fish bite again. Willy bite, willy bite. After having two yellowfish tuna yesterday evening. Yippee! We were just contemplating the beauty of the blue ocean when we saw a sailfish going for our baits. So. Schon wieder. Ja, 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 woo! Unfortunately, he tried two times to bite, and we don't know if he missed or something is wrong with our baits. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another night shift update. <laughs> if you remember our last night shift update, you know that's normally not good news. We were sailing at an amazing speed of about 8 to 9 knots. We had our Ganaker up, we had 30 knots of wind, we were literally flying over the waves when our tech line of the Ganaker decided to break loose. We don't really know how it happened. We don't know yet what happened. Fact is that our Denaker was flapping around in the wind. Luckily we have our Denaker sock which you can pretty easily pull over the Denaker and uh, save it. So we managed to calm it at least down and then in a second moment we're able to pull it down entirely and put it away for the night. We pulled now out the main and the Geno again and we'll go on with them. So yeah, trying to get some sleep now and tomorrow we hopefully will figure out what happened to the tech line. We nearly lost Winston. May he rest in peace. Not yet. The rope actually went through the winch. We've uh, had it like around two times in order to release it quickly in case we have to let it go, which is something usual they do for spinnakers and gannakers in order to not have it uh, explode basically because it loses wind and the wind catches again and then we have to let go. And the wind went up most likely to 18 knots and then it threw the rope slowly through the winch until it made a BAM and the rope exploded. But hopefully we recovered it so later on we have to open it up and to check every square meter on it if there are any holes because it was flapping quite loudly. If everything goes well, this is one of our last day 
here on the Atlantic because right now we have only about 160 nautical miles left. Speaking of land, this night we also got amazing news from the health authorities in Martinique and we will be allowed to immediately go on land without PCR tests and we don't have to go into quarantine. So once we arrive to Martinique, we can go immediately into the marina, but for now we will still concentrate on the last hours or days that we have here on the Atlantic and enjoy it with a good lunch. Is that? Yeah. You see? Whee! which pretty much means don't talk about the happy ending of an adventure while you're still on the adventure. <laughs> That's what kind of happened to us while we were all already sitting out there and dreaming about the cocktails we were drinking soon on the beach of Martinique. We unfortunately realized that our water tanks were empty. We went to fill up the tanks, the water tanks, with the extra water tanks we had. And when we lifted up the floor tiles, we realized that there was a lot of water in the build. We went to see for where the water came from and we discovered that the pipe which goes to our water heater exploded. Nevertheless, luckily again, it was more a shock which caused a lot of work, but luckily no actual dangerous situation. We spent now the last half an hour cleaning up everything again we luckily have a pretty clean beach area so it's not all too disgusting but still there is uh, fiberglass everywhere and those little pieces are not really nice and yeah now we have to let it dry and pack it all up and uh, hopefully this was the last adventure in the adventure before we arrive to Martinique <laughs> but the adventure was far from being over we would soon learn that our last day at sea would also be our most eventful one. Risk to make a hole in the boat. 
We just called the marina of uh, Martinique here and unfortunately they told us that after half past five we are not allowed to get into the marina anymore and as we probably will not make it we already needed to put out the anchor because once we arrive sunset probably has already passed and we will have to anchor somewhere in between of the coral reefs which will already be a challenge itself so we wanted to be prepared with the anchor when we get there luckily we hope everything went well in the end we did not see any damage to the boats from here the anchor was still nicely packed for transport so hopefully it's all fine and yeah now we just need to get the anchor winch working Not yet, we can hear the clicking down here in the bathroom where we know that the motor is sitting or better the switch of the motor um, we can hear the clicking so something is working oh, we already had a similar problem back in Turkey with the windless motor so um, yeah that's really great. slowly approaching the bay where we are going to anchor. I have to say I was a little bit annoyed that we were not allowed in the marina, at least for now, and we have to anchor in front of it. But after putting out the anchor, I felt a little... Second. Yeah, felt a little nostalgic and now cannot wait to finally drop the anchor again. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this episode, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you're not going to miss out on our next video where we're going to share all our lessons learned in the Atlantic Ocean. Bye!